So in 1980, I switched from rock and roll music to country music. I joined a popular local country band. Uh, the money seemed much better at that time, but I knew absolutely nothing about country music. And the very first gig with that band happened less than a week after I joined the band. They were the opening act for George Jones. Now, believe it or not, I had never heard of George Jones. I didn't have a clue who he was. If you'd asked me to name country stars, I would have given you Roy Clark and Buck Owens, you know, the Hee Haw Show. So anyway, we go and we do the show. We're at the, at the show. On the stage, where I assumed George was going to be, there's a microphone surrounded by five wedges in a semicircle. I just couldn't see how this was going to work feedback-wise, but anyway, we uh, played the seven songs that I knew to cover half an hour, and those wedges were just screaming. The, the poor guy that had to stand in front of those in our band said they were just screaming. So anyway, we did our, our set and went over well, played our seven songs, and then here comes George Jones, and uh, he comes out. And, yeah, I, I got to hand it to you. The guy can sing. No doubt about it. He, he could sing. But yeah, maybe after the second song, he turns to his left and he's telling the, the monitor sound man on stage, you know, he needs more in the wedges. And we're like, you've got to be kidding. More in his wedges. So the sound man probably pretends to turn it up. Uh, the end of the next song, he turns. He's a little bit angrier. I told you I need more in these wedges. Give me more. Now, we knew this was only a matter of time before there'd be some feedback. So, sure enough, there's a little chirp when the guy turns up the, the monitors, which annoys George to no end. Uh, a couple more songs into the set, he turns to his left to the sound guy there and says, I need more in these wedges. And the guy tries to turn it up, and there's a little chirp. At any rate, at some point, after one song, George turns to his left to the sound guy, right on stage in front of everyone, and says, this is your last night as our sound man. I mean, what was he thinking? You know, in the middle of a show, you announce to the entire crowd that you're firing the sound man. Well, anyway, there's a song, I, I'm familiar with it now, it wasn't at the time, you know, he stopped loving her today. And in that song, uh, at the end of the song, the whole band comes down to nothing, and George steps up to the microphone and he sings, He stopped loving her today. Well, everything went as planned. Band played the song. It comes to that point. Uh, the band stops. George walks up to the microphone to sing, He stopped loving her today. And the sound man, the guy on the monitor board, throws the, the sliders for those wedges all the way up. Deafening feedback deafening feedback and he just walks out and of course you know most of the roadies back there don't have a clue with that equipment what's going on um, so it was a good 30 seconds before someone could get to that monitor board to turn that thing down and everyone in the place is holding their ears so uh, kudos to the sound guy I guess the lesson is don't piss off the sound man in the middle of a show Okay, that's the story for today. Bye-bye.